Hi, Brentek here, where tech is made simple. So we have our August optional bug fix C release update rolling out for Windows 11. And this is give or take, more or less the same update I posted on a week or so ago when it was still in preview and has now made its way to the stable version of Windows 11. And the update for this month is KB5041587. Now the update is optional, so you don't have to install it unless you have this toggle turned on and then the update becomes a compulsory mandatory update. So always take note of that. Now the update rolled out late yesterday once again in my part of the world on the 27th of August. And the update does include improvements and one new feature that are on a gradual rollout which we'll have a look at and then we'll also have a look at some bug fixes that are taking place under the hood because this is a non-security bug fix update. Now the new feature and the improvements that are rolling out gradually, so you may see these, you may not. The new feature I'm actually just going to mention because I posted a whole video on this, where you can now share content to your Android device from the Windows share window. So to do this, you must pair your Android device to your Windows PC. And to do this, you use the link to Windows app on your Android device and phone link on your PC. And that video will be linked down below and in the end screen if you'd like some more info because it'll give you a lot more information. And then we get accessibility improvements that are rolling out, which is always a good thing. And just to mention these quickly, the first is for Narrator. And uh, this update makes scan mode respond quicker, apparently, according to Microsoft, who says this is especially helpful when you use Microsoft Edge and read large documents. So that's an improvement for Narrator. And then the second accessibility fix is for, uh, or improvement, is for voice access, where you can now dictate the characters that you spell at a faster speed. And you also have more editing options for the commands that select, delete, and move within text, according to Microsoft. So both Narrator and Voice Access have received uh, improvements uh, in this update. Now, File Explorer has received five fixes, which is always a good thing, because I do personally feel the File Explorer does need a bit of work um, in Windows 11. And three of the five improvements and fixes are for screen readers. So just to mention these, when you press Windows, logo key, and E, a screen reader might say a pane has focus, or the focus might not be set at all. So that's been fixed. And then the second screen reader improvement and fix is, apparently Microsoft says, screen readers do not announce when you open or browse items that are in a breadcrumb of the open or save dialog. And the third screen reader fix is, they do not announce when you open or browse items in the column header. So if you are using a screen reader, those three issues have been addressed. And then when you press Control and F, um, apparently sometimes the search did not start. So uh, that's Control and F. There we go. And if that didn't work for you, then apparently that bug has been addressed according to Microsoft. And then keyboard focus might sorry, keyboard focus sometimes might get lost when you press shift and tab. So that's shift, tab, and then obviously you can scroll up and scroll down using shift and tab. So if that was an issue for you, um, that bug has been addressed as well. So five uh, fixes and improvements rolling out for the File Explorer. Now, Widgets Board apparently has received a couple of changes, and these improvements for the Widgets Board were not originally rolled out in preview. So Microsoft has changed a couple of things uh, since uh, the preview update was released. So Microsoft says regarding the widgets board that they are rolling out an update to the widgets board to improve security and the APRs for creating widgets and feeds for users in EEA regions. So that's region specific, obviously. As part of this update, the Microsoft Start Experiences app will power the Microsoft Start widget and feed experiences and also as part of this update some existing widgets will be removed and others will be modified temporarily affecting their functionality they mentioned that this update sets the foundation for new widgets and other features in development set to roll out soon so that's affecting mainly 
users of Windows 11 in the EEA regions. So a couple of new widgets could be in the pipeline for the widgets board if that is something you are using um, on Windows 11. Now, because this is a non-security update, it does include other quality improvements. Now, there are nine fixes that have rolled out um, kind of under the hood, so to speak. And I'm just going to mention four, which I think you may be interested in. Apparently, there's a fix for the input method editor, IME. Apparently, when a combo box had input focus, a memory leak uh, might occur when you close that window. And a memory leak uh, is obviously when me um, excess memory is used more than it should. So that's a bit of a performance boost. And then Bluetooth, apparently, there's a fix for a Bluetooth where external devices were losing their connection when you deploy certain Bluetooth policies. And there's a Hibernate stop error, which is a blue screen of death. So this is an important fix. Apparently, um, laptops were stopping uh, stopping to respond after users were resuming from Hibernate. This occurred if you had closed and opened the lid many times. So any blue screen of death stop error fix is important in my book. And then the last one to mention, once again, moving to the File Explorer. So in total, there are actually six um, fixes rolling out for the file explorer so apparently there's a fix for the navigate the navigation pane that um wasn't updating when you browse folders that are in a shell namespace extension so quite a lot happening with the file explorer so that's more or less um what's new in this update and if you are interested guys um the os builds have been bumped up if we head over to win very quickly that's about windows If you're running 23H2, the OS build is now sitting on 22631.4112. And if you are still on 22H2, the OS build is sitting on 22621.4112. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.